Dear brothers and sisters, I heard about the loss of a man yesterday. That man was a relative, a close member. And I want to speak to anybody who has lost a loved one today. I have written them down because I had so many things I wanted to say, so I decided to write it down. One of the hardest things for me is when I hear about the death of a loved one, someone close, someone I knew, someone that crossed my life in one way or another, someone who spoke to me. Suddenly that person is no longer here and we have to deal with that loss. I had to go through this at one point. I myself lost my dad to cancer when I was 20 years old. I was the oldest in my family. I had a brother and a sister younger than me and it was very, very hard on us. I have never been the same since that day. I heard yesterday of the loss of a relative, a man who was dear to many around us. I didn't know him personally very well, but I remember very clearly him speaking to me many times. He was a good-hearted man, and he had this genuine awareness of people around him. He was sensitive to people around him. And you can see he cared for others just by the way he spoke. My heart goes out to his wife and his sons and his family today. May God be with you in this difficult time. But I want to take this moment to talk to anyone who has lost a loved one. Dear friends, I almost lost my life in October in 2016 when I had a hemorrhage stroke And one thing I can tell you is that it was the single most frightening moment of my life. It was so final. I knew my time has come and I knew I had to meet God for judgment. And let me tell you, when this moment comes, you know that God is real. And brothers and sisters, there will be no atheist at that moment. Every atheist will become a believer. When we lose a close member of our family, it is always hard and we don't know what to say. Many people say comforting things and it's understandable. God can have mercy up to the last second. And I pray he does have mercy because we all need mercy and we all fall short of this mercy of God. But today, I want to say to people who are still alive, who are still here, anyone who is listening to this, I plead with you, don't wait to the last moment to make things right with God. Don't wait to the last second, counting on a last minute repentance. Don't wait to the last moment to have a relationship with God, with Jesus Christ. We can't spend our whole lives ignoring God and come to Him the last second. We need to make sure He is pleased with us. We need to amend our ways today, not tomorrow. We are not guaranteed tomorrow. And we are not guaranteed that last minute repentance. We don't want to play games with a holy God. I call on you today, dear friends, to make sure you are right with God. Call on Him. Wrestle with God in prayer. Seek Him. Seek to see whether He is real or not. Read the words of Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. Take the time to seek Jesus. Don't count on other people for your salvation, no matter who they are. Don't count on priests, churches, or other men for the truth. Seek the truth yourself. Our time will also come. That is guaranteed. As millions are crossing over today, we will also close our eyes to this world one day. And at that moment, only one thing will matter. What does Jesus, the Son of God, 
think of you when you stand before him on that day? Will you be ready? Will you have the right standing with God on that day? And may God bless you.